Hello there. Every user is unique, and so is the way you interact with your console. User profile settings give you some great tools to create your custom MA experience. Let's have a detailed look into these options. Navigate via the menu to settings and choose user configuration. Select the profiles tab. It is possible to give your user profile a name or add a note to identify the specific profile. The DMX readout is used to change the readout of DMX values. The normal value is the intensity value you used when the normal keyword is used, typically by pressing the add key twice. It is a DMX value, so the DMX readout setting affects how to input a value in this field. The wheel resolution can be used to change the resolution of the encoder wheels on the consoles. The options are coarse, normal and fine. The wheel mode allows you to change the settings of the encoder wheels between additive, incremental, proportional positive or proportional negative. Knob UI style defines how on-screen rotating knobs can be adjusted. There are two modes, rotate, change the value by rotating around the knob, or drag. This can open up a special pop-up that can be used to edit the value. The encoder UI style is similar to the knob UI but affects encoders. Next to the rotate and drag options, there is also a none option to disable gestures for encoders. The precise edit function is used on editing values in sheets. It can be difficult to hit a field precisely in a sheet with fingers. Turning this off makes it easier to select a field without accidentally creating a new selection. When the screen encoder option is enabled, the rightmost dual encoder becomes a screen encoder. Turning the inner encoder moves the focus in a vertical direction, while the outer encoder scrolls in a horizontal direction. The time key can have two different targets, Q or fixture. This defines if the time key relates to Q timing or fixture layers. TC slot displays the currently selected timecode slot. This is the default value readout. Many sheets can be set to show a readout, which can be a specified readout type or follow this default type. This setting can be changed in the encoder bar. This is the default speed readout. The options are Hertz, BPM and Seconds. The preset readout changes the way the presets are displayed in fixture and sequence sheets. The preset can be displayed by the combination of three elements. ID, the ID number of the preset, name, the name of the preset, value, the values in the preset. The help pop-up zoom factor defines the default zoom factor in the help pop-up. The overlay fades sets a fade time used by pop-ups and menus in the user interface. The default time is 250 milliseconds. Time readout is the default time readout for the user profile. The frame readout defines the default frame readout. Color readout shows us the default color readout. This default is used in the encoder toolbar on most sheets, unless a different readout is selected for the sheet. There are five definable settings for OOPS. To OOPS or not to OOPS is the question. We can choose to OOPS views, the programmer, a selection, and choose if we want to confirm our OOPS actions or not. The mirror special executor pages setting is for the custom section of the GrandMA3 extension. If the setting is yes, then the extension has the same assignment as the custom section of the station the extension is connected to. If the setting is no, then each extension can have its own assignments in the custom section. The show appearance and queue input setting is used to define if the queue appearances are shown in pop-ups where queues can be selected. For example, the pop-ups that appear using the go to and load commands without a specified target. Toggling the show settings in editors function shows or hides the settings in some editors. The setting is also in the title bar of the editors where this can be toggled. If single digit input is set to yes, then all input integer dimmer values below 10 are multiplied by 10. Whole numbers from 1 to 9 are applied as values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 or 90. Resolve executor assignments. The setting is used in the macro editor. When it is yes and a command is edited by pressing executor buttons, then the handle of the object is used instead of the reference to the executor. The show connectors function shows or hides the connector overlay. The DMX tester address mode settings relate to the DMX tester. Universes splits the DMX address into universes and universe addresses. Absolute shows the DMX address as an absolute DMX address. The DMX tester retain mode toggles the retain mode in the DMX tester. The DMX tester mode all makes all DMX addresses available for testing. The patched mode ensures only patched addresses can be tested.
The unpatched mode ensures that only unpatched addresses can be tested. The DMX tester test value defines the test values used by the DMX tester. Move grid cursor. This is the same setting as the one available in the selection grid window. We can also define some of our preferences per attribute. The user attribute preferences can be accessed by choosing Edit Encoder Bar. The Edit Encoder Bar is used to set the user profile's preferred readout type for the natural readout. It also has the different resolutions and encoder press resolution multipliers. Resolution multipliers define the factor by which an encoder changes a value when the encoder is pressed, or in the case of the dual encoders, the difference between the inner and outer ring. At the top, there are some settings. The time layer resolution sets the encoder resolution for the time-related layers. The phase layer resolution sets the encoder resolution for the phase-related layers. The dual encoder factor defines the multiplier the outer encoder ring uses in relation to the inner encoder ring. The dual encoder press factor defines the multiplier for the outer encoder ring when the dual encoder key is pressed while turning the outer encoder ring. The link resolution setting defines how the encoder resolution is linked between features. The options are single and feature group. The rest of the pop-up lists all the attributes in rows. Three different columns with values can be changed for each attribute. The natural readout allows defining the desired readout per attribute. For instance, dimmer values are best displayed in percentage readout. In contrast, pan or tilt values are better readable using the physical readout, which displays the pan and tilt values as degrees. This setting selects the desired readout when natural is selected in sheets and encoders. The user-defined readout has a higher priority than the readout defined for the attribute. The encoder resolution defines how big an attribute value change will be when turning a dual encoder by one click. This setting can also be changed by pressing MA and tapping the channel function area in the encoder toolbar. This multiplier is used when the inner encoder is pressed and turned for this attribute. We also have the option to ignore the channel functions defined in the fixture type. Of course, you are able to import and export your profile. And may does not tell you how to do something, but gives you the option to do everything. Happy programming!